Welcome back. We're in Rice's Appliance Kitchen with Chef Gerard Hi. from the Seafood <laughs> Shack. Hey. What's going on here, Chef? What are you making? So we are making some crawfish mac and cheese mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with our local Dick and Dairy Farm. Uh, this is key by all means. It is as a high fat content, which everybody loves fat, right? <laughs> or as Paula so Dean says, butter makes it better, right? <laughs> yeah. So we do not want to skimp on the cream. Absolutely Go not. Go for it. Absolutely not. And they're local, so you definitely yes. have to. I've like been out to visit. It's a great place. Yes. Oh, yes. It's awesome. So you've already got something started. So tell us what you were doing bef uh, before we got. So what you want to do is you want to take your cream, you want to reduce it. Um, what you're going to look for is you're going to look for it to start to get shiny. This means that the fat is coming out. Again, that's the best part, right? So you're going to bring it up, and then what we're going to do after that, we're going to add our pasta. Okay. So we're going to take our pasta. So you don't stir this while you're doing this. I was going to ask that too. So no. I'm dying to scorch it. No, okay. actually, you, you do want to get a, a slight scald to it. It gives it a little bit of a nutty flavor. Not burnt, but scalded. Oh, okay. 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 I, like I would have been fiddling flavor. with this like crazy and turning it down. Yeah. So now you can see you've got the fat coming out. So this would be the time to... Go now, this hasn't been cooked before, right? What's that? This hasn't been cooked before. No. Wait, this pasta. Oh, the, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, the pasta has. Oh, it's all right. I thought yeah. so. It looked sort of. Yeah, so oh. it's ready to go. If not, it'll be quite crunchy, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is just we're going to go ahead and take our pasta here, and we're going to stir it around. And then basically, as it gets hot. Stir it for you. Yeah, absolutely. It smells so good. So now that the pasta's in, you want to move it a little bit more yep. than you, you did. You want to move it around. Thing. Okay. Just kind of let it come to, come to temperature. Um, and then basically what we're going to do now is we're going to add our crawfish. You want to add the crawfish? Mm -hmm. I go. love crawfish. I grew now, up in Mississippi. I've never had crawfish, but what? I'm from New York, and so I just don't know that we, we know what it is, they really. They can be crunchy, <laughs> can't they, if they have the little shells on them? Yeah, you definitely want to shell them. Uh, it's definitely like the southern lobster, in my opinion. Uh, uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, they're really, really good. It really brings out. Now, these crawfish we've actually seasoned, okay. uh, pre-seasoned, so if you'd like it spicier, you can always add more blackening spice, and, you know, you can see the recipe. Uh, yes. So if if um, if you haven't had crawfish, or if maybe you have an aversion to crawfish, can you substitute with any other either anything, lobster, shrimp, okay. anything like that? These guys can take a little bit more heat. They tend not to really overcook so much. Okay. Shrimp, you would obviously want to maybe add at the end. Okay. Okay. So now you've got that going. If you want to go ahead. Smells so good. So yeah. this is the fun part, right? You're going to mm -hmm. get a tossed pan. So we're going to go ahead and oh, mix the cheese in. Wait. Right? What do you mean? Like do the flippy thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Just don't catch it on fire. Oh right? gosh. <laughs> This is exciting, Nikki. If you oh, don't feel yeah. comfortable, obviously you can stir it. Maybe I should do one one stir and then a flip. <laughs> I so I don't cover you in cheese. Right? <laughs> I'm going to see a flip. And I'm going to move back when you flip it. Okay, I'm going to move back too. <laughs> Me too, yeah. We have confidence in you. Okay. Not that we don't trust you. Is there like a trick to the flip? Here she uh, goes. Keep it in the pan. That's pretty oh, much God. Yeah. What do you do? A little front back? What do you do? You so want to do this, Nikki. Like that. There it. you go. You've hey. got it. Hey. Last one. Perfect. Wow, Nikki. I don't really yank it. I'm not surprised. Ready? There you oh go. God, oh, you're wow. getting more confident You're getting now. some height there. I'm getting your net dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the green onion. Now, we can garnish with this, but, you know, getting a little bit in there obviously heightens that flavor. Mm -hmm. And then to kind of definitely bring out the flavors and more, you always want to add, add some acid at the end. This really brings all the flavors oh. out. Okay. Not a lot, so what we've got is fresh squeezed lime juice, or excuse me, lemon juice. Oh, wow. We'll put a little bit in. A little secret ingredient there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then the best, is, of course, is some finishing salt. Now, this also is not just, it has a little bit more oxygen in it, so it tends to be a little bit more crunchy, but it also, it's not as salty, so it's a really great addition to the dish. Oh, nice. So we'll put a little bit in. And this is on your menu for Dine to the Nines Restaurant Week, Eat Like Local Week, with um, coming up through the 14th, right? Co correct, yeah. And tell us a little bit, of, while Nikki's finishing, tell us a little bit about uh, what else you have on your menu. There's a great promotion. So uh, we're, we're keeping it pretty simple. I mean, we've got our $9 and we have our $19. Um, you know, we're doing, we've got everything Ooh. from our Cubans. We've got our burgers, uh, just a little bit of everything to try. Then we also have like our fresh catch, which whatever that may be at the time. Mm -hmm. Right now oh, we've great. got like, uh, we've got Opa, and we've got trigger fish, things like that. Just a great reason to finish. So while you help Nikki plate up, we want to let you know about the Dine to the Nines <laughs> Restaurant Week. This is great. Seafood Shack is one of the many restaurants participating. It goes through October 14th part of the Sarasota Manatee Originals. Lunch and dinner prefix menus from $9 to $49. Eatlikealocal.com. Support our local restaurants. They yes. need us, and we need their we delicious need them. food. Yes. Happy anniversary, Originals. Yes, how many years? 15 years. Yes. This is Congratulations oh. to the Originals. <laughs> thank you, Chef. Nikki, thank you so thank much. You. Your flipping skills are to be envied. <laughs> All right, we're going to dive into some crawfish mac and cheese.
you take some time, enjoy the Sun Coast view.